Hey beautiful people and welcome back to 50 Cent's beautiful fragrance channel where we share and discuss fragrance together guys. Yeah, another week is over, another weekly rotation that I'm doing for you guys. I'm really excited to show you four fragrances because four really arrived the last couple of days. So if you're interested in what I wore the last couple of days, stay tuned. Starting off with Monday guys, where I just arrived back from Amsterdam. Spent the whole weekend there with my girlfriend at the seaside. Really beautiful stuff there uh, and then came back on Monday. And I had things to do here and I really wanted to uh, greet the autumn and fall season guys because it was quite chilly already and this one is so beautiful for the daytime. This is Palmois de Parfum Wake Up World guys and this fragrance I think it's such a beautiful transitional season fragrance when it comes to spring and autumn time because here it is so crisp and clean smelling from this green apple and the lavender in here but then it has this beautiful sweetness this ambery sweetness in the dry down it is an amber fougere fragrance it has a lot of aromatic facets to it and i really enjoyed wearing this because this is really strong and really potent guys there are fragrances from the 90s that smell similar to this like laura biagetro's womo roma if you like this you will all oh, you will love this fragrance um and, but this one is a little bit more niche -y and a little bit more artistic nowadays because the other fragrance from the 90s are mostly watered down um, by now. This one is still such a great performer, such a beautiful blended fragrance and I absolutely loved it because it is such a beautiful daytime fragrance uh, for like cooler days where it's still a little bit warm outside and sunny but you feel fall coming and this one is just emphasizing this beautiful feeling of um of a fresh fragrance combined with this sweet seductiveness in the in the background my girlfriend loves this one and i really really enjoy wearing this from time to time and i'm really glad that i had the chance to wear this again on monday this is palm water prefer wake up world tuesday is always studio time guys and i really was looking forward to wear this fragrance again and it was also quite chilly still sunny outside and i went with moustache eau de parfum by rochas guys and this fragrance i mean it always, it's, it's so funny, always when I wear this fragrance guys, I get compliments from clients. I don't know what it is about this fragrance. Sometimes for me it's quite simple to be honest because it's just vanillic, ambery, fresh and spicy. Beautiful in a way, but really simple. Sometimes a little bit too simple for me, for my taste. But if I just want something that is mass appealing still different and that gives me good reactions i gravitate to this one and now i think in the fall season this is beautiful because it's still like wake up world fresh masculine slightly spicy and then you have uh, you have a heavy dose of pepper in here i get a heavy dose of pepper but then the dry down is really beautiful creamy and soft and this is always a banger guys when i go to the studio i don't know why but a lot of people just like the dna I mean, you get this moustache DNA and it's like such an easy grab fragrance now and I'm really glad to pull this out from the shelf again and wear this more. This is moustache or the parfum on Tuesday. Yeah guys, this week was really the week of the autumn and fall fragrances. I really was craving for such a long time when it was still warm outside and now I had the chance to wear them. And this one is also one that I really, really adore guys. Uh, and I wanted to wear it in the daytime again and this is Zadig and Voltaire's This Is Him and guys this fragrance is so so beautiful really really beautiful and also with this one I get a compliment from a, cl uh, from a colleague that is not into fragrances at all and interesting enough my colleague told me that this reminds him a bit of a modern uh, version of Le Mal by Jean-Paul Gaultier and I can see it in a way because it's so fresh and still a little bit sweet with the vanilla but guys this is such a dry beautiful grapefruity sandalwood vanillic scent with this beautiful incense to round it out the grapefruit is not really dominant just in the first minutes you get a little bit of this fizziness of the grapefruit but then it's a really creamy scent and i really see this as the new la nuit de l'homme guys because i think this one or I want it to be <laughs> because I think this is a little bit more special nowadays it feels really masculine and kind of romantic in a way 
sexy in a way i would say more sexy sexy and masculine this fragrance guys it's really affordable and don't sleep on this one guys because it's really beautiful and i said really versatile like i said really versatile like you can easily wear this in the daytime or in the nighttime with a leather jacket or just for going out guys this fragrance is a banger and it's a mass appealing banger with a niche kind of dna really really gorgeous fragrance guys this is clean and still different this is static and voltaire's this is him on Wednesday. On Thursday, guys, it was also studio time, but in the evening I had plans to yeah, visit friends and just have dinner. And also this fragrance, I had the chance to wear this a little bit in summer, but I think it's more suited for fall and winter time, maybe also spring. Gorgeous versatile fragrance, guys. This is Desir Toxic by Emi Kalef. And I love this fragrance when I have plans in the evening and also want something quite, um, versatile for the daytime because this one i think when it's not too hot outside this one is just amazing because smell wise this is so so gorgeous with the black currant the cannabis it gives this like this green herbalness and this gorgeous woody shaving foamy dry down with the cinnamon in the mid guys this is spicy fresh kind of sweet and then gets really masculine with this shaving foamy fougere kind of aspect in here reminds me a bit of Leighton always but it smells like the uh, bad boy brother of Leighton for me because this one is way more kinky in a way but still I think it can work as a signature it still can work in the right environment as a work scent in my opinion but if you want to be really really professional maybe this is a little bit too kinky for the first meeting or something but i really really love this because on thursday there was uh, i was alone at the studio had work to do and in the evening i met up with some friends for some beer so this was a great fit guys on thursday it was Desir Toxic by Emi Kalef. next up is a fragrance that i was so looking forward to wear guys and on friday i had time to wear it finally uh, i had to go to the studio really was really careful with the sprays i think i just went with one spray to the studio and then two sprays i resprayed for the evening because i went with my mother to the theater because it was a birthday present uh, and we went out to to have dinner afterwards and guys this fragrance is such a banger but it really is a fall and winter fragrance this is gucci gucci guilty absolute guys and this fragrance is one of the rawest masculine scents I ever smelled <laughs> but I really really adore it because it's so, such a beautiful leather it's really like a brown leather the a really nice rough brown leather but it still smells really classy in a way and you have this beautiful vetiver in here there's nothing sweet nothing playful about this fragrance it's really like raw masculinity really like you're going into the the woods um, chunking up some woods or uh, making a fire and it, it really smells a little bit burnt also so like uh, like the vetiver is uh, a little bit dirty vetiver but I really really adore this because it's such, such a different and bold scent right Gucci made such a great job here to do something different in 2017 I think this is from 2017 and I think it's so bold for a designer house which has really boring um, reputation of boring fragrances or flankers of Gucci Guilty and this one is so different and I really adore it for what it is and I think it's when you don't overspray it's beautiful and I really enjoyed it it was not too much for anything on Friday and I'm really looking forward to even chillier or, or cooler days to wear this way more often because I really adore the smell this is Gucci Guilty absolute on friday so on Sunday, guys i cleaned up my whole apartment in the daytime really was time for that to be honest uh, and uh, it really took some time and i tried some samples i got with my last purchase um, i got mask therapy by initio and the other one was herod by perfume somali didn't really enjoy any one of them to be honest with you guys uh, herod is really not my kind of fragrance to be honest with you but maybe it's it grows on me and i have the sample still so yeah but in the evening it was time for a night out with friends and i was looking forward to wear this because it's my favorite night out fragrance is perfume somalis latent guys and it's just my style of fragrance i i um felt so so good wearing this again 
It, it is just like going back to spring when I first uh, rocked this fragrance to night outs. It is, it is simple, it, is, it has this mass appealing character, but it's still so different guys and it smells so gorgeous in the air when you're going into a room and you spray. I go with five or six sprays with this. Uh, I just don't think you can over spray with this. Maybe don't go much more, but this one is so mass appealing, so pleasing for everyone around you that no one will be offended by the smell, guys. It smells so gorgeous with the apple and the lavender, this beautiful aromatic side of things. And then you have this gorgeous, not at all designerish vanilla that is so, smells so natural and it's just the right amount of spices in here for me this is really worth the money i really really enjoy this one and like i said i don't wear it that often just for night outs and sometimes now i think i can't resist wearing this um in on cooler days too but i think this is such a versatile gorgeous fragrance if you want to go into niche fragrances guys really try this one out i think this and nisha nehachi white are really worth it and ganymede is also worth it but this one guys one of my favorite fragrances for night out. This is uh, Parfums de Mali Leighton on Saturday. And then Sunday, guys, was just a chill day that I spent outside because it was so sunny, beautiful. I uh, went with my bike to the River Rhine and had an ice cream and just chilled there with a book. And it was such, such a great day to just chill around. I had a bit of a hangover, I'm honest with you guys, from Saturday night, but it was a great day still. And I wanted to wear this uh, because I want to um, to try this one out, guys. This is my newest fragrance in my whole collection, and I absolutely love it. This is Daniel Daniel Josier's Ombre Tabac, and yeah, man, this this fragrance is for me. This is so gorgeous. It's not really a tabac uh, heavy scent for me personally. It is. Um, it has like a boozy side to it. It's spicy with cinnamon, and for me, it has. A woody, ambery, dry down, really, really gorgeous smelling. Smells really delicious. It's really mouth watering to just sniff on this automizer. And that's what I really like about it. And the blend is just perfection, guys. I think this is so gorgeous for the money. I think this was not that expensive. I got this, I think, for 80 euros online, uh, this 50 ml. And I think it's, it's, it's great and gorgeous and I really, really enjoyed this on Sunday. I, I'm really looking forward to wear this like in Christmas time or something. I think it fits the mood really, really well. And also now when it's a little bit sunny, it's still quite a little bit warm, but still a little bit chilly in the evening, guys. This one is just amazing, has amazing longevity and projection. And it's really versatile, I, I feel like, because it's not too dense. Um, this often gets compared to Orjan by Parfums de Mali. I tried a sample of Orjan and I think this is way more bearable also in three seasons. I wouldn't wear really wear this in summer, but spring, fall and winter. And Orjan for me is really just such a heavy winter, maybe fall uh, fragrance. But this fragrance is gorgeous guys for evening outs, for everything. And also on a Sunday, on a chill Sunday, in the sun, guys, I really enjoyed this one. This is Daniel Josier's Ombre Tabac on Sunday. So guys, that's it for my weekly rotation. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me down in the comments below what you think about the fragrance I wore, what were your fragrances of the week. I'm really curious, like always. See you next time, bye bye, guys.